I had a chance to get some of our property back. Property that over the years we've seen being sold on the internet. Uh, we've seen pictures of ours that were stolen from our home going into the uh, tabloids. We've called the police and asked what to do. They told us what to try to do, but you can never find out who was selling it. And this was the first time I had an opportunity to catch the guys red-handed who had been stealing from my family. I knew these guys. I did think Mike Gilbert was, would be there. And I know, as they told me, the two guys there, that he was the one who did it. But I have no hatred for Mike Gilbert. In the past, as we know, you heard on the tape, Mike Gilbert tried to set me up in a porn video, tricked me into a room with hidden cameras. And they still wrote in the newspaper and the tabloids, they still had cover stories that OJ did it, even though there was no porn video. The only person I asked, I requested to help me here, was Mr. Stewart. I did request him. I needed his car. I asked him if he had some guys to help me remove these things from the room. I didn't ask anybody to do anything but to stand behind me, allow me to yell at these guys, and then help me remove those things. And if they wouldn't let me remove them, we would call the cops on them, because I felt that they were, they were wrong. They had turnover orders, and they hadn't turned over some of these things that were both um, garnishable and things that were not garnishable. I didn't want him to yell at him. I think Mr. McClintock in a previous trial said that I didn't ask them to yell at anybody. Unfortunately, they did, and I believe it was my fault because I brought them there. And I knew the character of a couple of the guys that were there, and it was my fault that they were there. But in no way did I mean to hurt anybody, to steal anything from anyone.